makes it because you begin to feel part of the Lincoln City Football Club family. You're not just somebody who turns up and pays the money. You feel part and parcel of the team that are here. It's, it, it, it's lovely. It's become a real family ritual to come. Fan Village has, has been one of the greatest successes um, of the football club, certainly since we returned to the Football League in, in 2017. You know, it came out of consultation with, with the fan groups, asking for more opportunities to engage and, and, and be part of the match day. Um, but equally, from a club point of view, it, it's helped grow revenue um, and, and has trebled um, o over our time since we've, we've been at the football club. And this fundamental is creating a space that the fans believe, you know, have, have ownership over, um, gives them a, a range of catering, uh, facilities that they ask for and, and, and would like as part of their match day um, but the whole environment and the match day um, really starts to build up from you know two and a half hours be before kickoff really extends that match day and, and creates a focal point and a place where fans home and away um, can come in and start their, their match day experience you know Poachers Den is you know and again another real success story that's come out of working with the fans and providing you know what they ask for you know there's no doubt that we have our challenges within the stadium it's an aging property um, having the luxury of working at a modern stadium before coming to Lincoln and now working at, at the LNER Stadium for, for a number of years, you know, it, it presents its own challenges. But we've worked really hard um, with the fans, with our foundation, in order to create that safe space, that warm space uh, for families, young and old, to come and experience and be part of. And again, provide them a bespoke offering for their match days. You know, interacting with the players, breaking down those barriers between the white line and the pitch and the stands, I think is really important. I think one of the things that we try and do at this football club is, is remove those barriers. So, you know, of course we have to have the safety element, but outside of that, really bringing the players closer to the fans in all the interactions, you know, prior to match day, during the match days, and, and then following it. We've previously run a, um, a campaign called Imps Match Day Welcome, and that was about trying to reach those underrepresented groups around the city to try and make them aware that our football club is a really welcoming place and that there's no need to uh, be worried or to try and help understand some of the barriers which prevent people from coming. Cost is a huge one but we um, managed that with the help of the club and some fundraising on our part to buy some tickets which then meant that we could offer a free match day experience for, for those communities so we had groups from the East Timor community, the Ukraine and Polish community um, and just giving them an opportunity to enjoy a, a live football experience. We work with the foundation on those people that um, are dealing with loneliness. So we looked at a huge kind of scope of, of diversity and inclusion to try and get people into the, into the game and say, you know, this is a welcoming club. When James was younger, he was not as trustworthy as he is now. And it was lovely to know that there were other people looking out for him and not just me. Yeah. And it's just been, it, it makes my day. I'm able to enjoy myself. I'm not just chasing after this young man. And now he's older, he's, he's trusted to go wherever he feels around the ground on match days. And it's lovely because you just have that comfortable feeling that you know he's safe. Because there are people that know him and they're keeping half an eye on him for me. Yeah. There's not yeah. a lot we do together yeah. as a three. Uh, but coming here, every home game and the odd away game as well.